What is up, people? It is Anime T here to bring you the review, the review portion for High School DxD episodes one through five. By the way, if you um, just to let you know, this reaction is only exclusive to Discord only, which means you can only watch this reaction if you go to my Discord, uh, join my Discord. If you don't have a Discord, make one. It's not hard to do. You can make the Discord by download. You can make a Discord discord account by just needing an email by itself you can do you can uh get on discord through an app through the app itself on your phone you have to download it or if you want you can just get on discord through a desktop browser which you can do that on your phone i think and on your pc or mac or whatever for sure so if you want to get on discord desktop computer or phone you take your pick and you'll be able to see the exclusive reactions for High School DxD because this series is classified as an 18 and plus or basically you have to be of mature age to watch this reaction and not everyone is so the only way I know for sure whether you can watch this is if you get on my discord that's the only other way and it's and I can't link it to my YouTube video here on the review portion because I don't want my channel to be at risk. I lost the channel before, I'm not going to lose it again. Therefore, the purpose of this review video obviously is to review the episodes and to like it up if you want more episode reactions to High School DxD. If you have trouble getting a Discord, talk to me or just hopefully maybe uh, one of my other Discord members can help you out or anyone here. Don't just stay quiet if you really want to see the episodes. Well, anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about the episodes. I'm going to say it right now. Boobs everywhere. Every damn minute of every second. Titties are flashed in your goddamn face. Woo! Ah, good shit. <laughs> but um, other than that, I will admit my doubts on this. I had a bit of doubt as I was watching this series. But as it got near toward the end, like through like to episode four or episode five, I became really impressed, especially with the main character. He started off as this n normal, super healthy, hormonal teenager just trying to get some ditties. Mm. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> but yeah, uh, that that's what it seems like he was all about. The main character wise in the beginning. But as the series progressed, especially with his interaction with one of the characters known as Asia, his character started to flourish and show more traits of, how can I say, nobility, nobility and I guess you can say he became more likable. Because not saying that the MC isn't relatable, he is very relatable in this situation. But I just can't bring myself to like a pervert the whole entire time of the show. It just feels... I don't know. I just uh, I'm usually not on board with that. It just feels I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's my personal opinion anyway. But as once again, that's how I feared it was going to be throughout the first maybe 2 to 3 episodes of the show. But once it got near toward the end, my thought changed. This character is awesome. He started developing himself and it turns out he has one of the 13 most powerful sacred gear weapons. I forgot what it was called, actually, the proper title. But for those of you that seen the series, can you let me know in the comment section below? Appreciate it. And honestly, when they talked about what it, what it can do and the power it gives and... And even the name of it just sounds so badass. Dragon Emperor... Uh, the Demon gauntlet of the dragon emperor or whatever that shit sounds so damn clean sounds so damn good so i really appreciate that and i really and i can't wait to see more of this character and how he further develops with his power i really can't wait to see that it's gonna be awesome as hell so that's what i literally can't wait for the most I mean, it's. I mean, I I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that his weapon. People thought like, eh, it only powers. It only boosts you up. That's all it does. It only boosts you up, and it doesn't seem like that much of a unique weapon. But it turns out it was very unique because it boosts every ten seconds. That is insane. The moment I heard that crap, I'm like, boy, boy, <laughs> that shit is awesome. 
That shit is so freaking awesome. That's why I couldn't help but be like, damn. I'm really liking the main character now, like character wise and power wise, and the potential he can get as the series can go. Obviously, there's gonna be a shit ton of boobs along the way, but I don't care. It's fine. The way the plot is going, I see potential. I see some great, badass potential. And I can't wait to see more of it, man. I really can't wait. So, once again, was nervous in the beginning, but that nervousness just vanished after, toward the end. Um, me, personally, I ship Asia with uh, Issei, or Hyo Hyodo, or Issei Hyodo, or however you want to say his name. I personally ship them completely, loved it. Um, in my opinion, I mean, toward the end, it looks like Issei does have a crush on R R Rias, but to be honest, it feels more like a sexual kind of attraction rather than an emotional attraction, which I feel like was very, very heavily ex uh, exploited between the relationship of Asia and uh, Issei. It just really feels like, like the bond those two shared felt real. It didn't just felt like physical attraction it was sensual so that in my opinion is what really makes a likable relationship it's like sure they're gonna be in uh, it's all sexual here and there and that's like bro what are you talking about that's freaking awesome he's getting laid but i'm like look guys obviously in a real life scenario that's fucking amazing right but story plot wise it feels fake does that make sense? It feels fake. But what I saw between, um, whatchamacallit, Asia and uh, Issei felt real. It felt enjoyable because it had development. And development in any story is just the golden nugget. It's the golden nugget of any story. And that's what I appreciate most of all. Um, but uh, other than that, um, I'm, I mean, if I'm pretty sure Issei ends up with Rias one way or another. And I'm sure as the open even, even kind of gives it away too. It's like the relationship deepens as the series goes on, which I appreciate that heavy once again. So, and that's how the main character gets his harem. I already, I already kind of see the setup going. He is going to bond with each and every one of these girls. And as he bonds with them, I'm sure that boost is his dragon gauntlet weapon. I'm not sure if that's a fact, though. I'm just taking a guess. And if my guess is on point, it's because these kind of animes are very predictable, guys. They're very predictable, but depending how they're fl flushed out can be very enjoyable, too, regardless of the separate theme that's heavily exploited in through the show. And you know what the fudge I'm talking about. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> I said it. So. But once again. As long as the plot is where it's at. And it's on point. It's going to be good with me. So. um, Other than that. Um, that's all I really wanted to say guys. That's all I really wanted to say personally. That's all it's up to thought right here and now. But if there's anything I missed. If there's anything that you want to ask me a question about, feel free to ask in the uh, comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer each and every one of your questions. The one thing I'll leave a question for you guys, though, as my subscribers. Hmm. From the four more or less main chicks that we have so far. Which do you personally ship with Issei? Like, cause it's obviously a harem, and a harem is like multiple girls after one dude. Who is your ship favorite? Me is Asia, my opinion, and I think it's the best. Um, other question would be. Hmm. All right. Here's the other question. Um, if you were to pick a side, demon or angel, which would it be and why? Answer those two questions I just asked in the comment section below. And remember, 
Seven likes or more, guarantee the following week. Um, ten likes, ten likes or more, guarantee two episodes or more the following day. Um, fifteen episodes or more guarantees five episodes or more in the following day. So there's that. So that's the only. So that's the only way we'll be getting more uh, high school DXD. So we'll see how High School DXD does with the likes and everything. And we'll see if we get more tomorrow. Other than that, guys, I'm Anime Tier. I'm out. Peace. Hopefully, please like, comment, all that good stuff. It really supports my channel, and I would appreciate it. Um, please don't badger me in the comment section if how I acted, like, maybe in the beginning, somewhat halfway through the reaction. It's just how I see things, guys, but in the end, I'm enjoying the show, and I hope to see great potential from it. Not just the boob session. Not saying that's an issue, but it's like, I need more. But either way, either way, that's all I want to say. Peace, I'm out. See you guys in the next reaction.